version of the demo with the new changes that we made. So the first thing is you have the screenplay here, uh, this full screenplay, The Stranger, and 107 pages. Uh, a friend of mine, another Mike uh, Rinaldi, had written this. And so we input the screenplay uh, as the first step and uh, log in here. And then you're prompted with this uh, prompt, uh, you know, do you have, hey, I'm your podcast mentor. Do you have an existing screenplay? Yes. And then the second step is, do you want to turn your screenplay into a podcast? Click the yes button if you want to convert your screenplay into a podcast. So you do yes. And at this point, it then says, okay, choose your file. And you pick, you pick the stranger screenplay that's on the left here. And then, it, and then you fill in the blanks here. Uh, and then you click, yes, I want a narrator. Okay. And then pick uh, the, you know, the, the genre. We'll make it 10 pages each for the, for the episodes. And yes, I want a narrator. And then you click proceed. And then this message comes up as you had mentioned, you know, click here to learn about how to do a radio drama podcast. So then it explains here, if you choose to have a narrator, we will help you do that by, ch by changing all of the scene heading information, description, and action from your existing screenplay into dialogue of, of the narrator in a radio drama script format. And then you click yes, create the project. And then it starts, starts working and this takes about 14 or 15 minutes. We, we benchmarked it with a number of uh, machines. And then you end up with, you end up with this uh, final thing. So you end up with a, uh, you know, multiple episodes broken out uh, here. So it, it broke it out into seven episodes. Uh, 10 pages of screenplay versus 10 pages in the app was a little different. So, and then you start, and then you get this, this next, um, you get this next uh, first episode. So from here, uh, you can click, you can cast each, each episode. You click on that left uh, shortcut there, and then it says script to podcast. And then this screen comes up. And then you can try out a, a voice to see if you like the voice. For example, here, just test the voice out. And let me uh, change the sound here. Useful for your purpose, feel free to use me. Okay. Hey, you explain it, how are you? I am a you explain it technology AI voice with an United States ascent. Do you find my voice useful for your purpose? Feel free to use me. And so you can change the voices to different voices and try different voices, male, female, etc. So let's say that we like that voice and we're going to uh, stay with that voice. Then we're going to select the character here. We can collect, uh, you know, again, following your use cases, your discovery discussion that we had in terms of what the requirements are. So here we can go ahead and now convert um, all of the uh, paragraphs from the original screenplay into this uh, uh, from here. We, now we can convert, now that all of these have been converted in the app, we now have, uh, we now can can do the conversion. So from here, that you know, the, the conversions happened. We have all of these uh, sections for the narrator now been rewritten. So, for example, right here, this heading, next to your Maddie's home, daybreak. Uh, it's a weathered home. All that got put underneath a new character called narrator, section by section. Of course, a lot of text is here, uh, and uh, just you know, wondering if that's and then here, line in the ditch, there, there's this section now been rewritten. The stranger lies unconscious in a ditch next to the cornfield. 
we know we're going to get into sound effects next, so we can have you know the crow crowing, uh, what a cornfield, open cornfield sounds like. Um, again, it's it's adding a lot of text, so hopefully we're not. Um, yeah, and it in some cases it didn't deal with the headings absolutely perfect, so we got a couple of headings that got put in here, left in here. Uh, all the other characters were left alone, though. But as you'll see later, with this casting tool, you can then cast any character, not just the narrator. So let's start with the narrator. So we click on this shortcut here. We go to Script to Podcast. And now we can, we can record. Okay, so we, we picked our voice, which was the U.S., male... We picked that second voice was the standard B, and now we're selecting our character narrator, and now we're going to do the conversion. We click the conversion, and now we can wait a little while here for all of those paragraphs out of 107 pages of narrator being casted, um, you know, by this AI tool. And there we go. And so it's listed them all by by character. So. This is our first take. We can now play. The sun slowly rises over the horizon, casting a warm glow over the weathered home next to the faded red barn. A battered truck with its hood up is parked in front, and children's bikes are scattered near the porch. Okay, so that's, and it goes all the way through the whole script, and ends, you know, it, it finishes with, you know, fade, the fade out, it'll finish, you know, at the very end of the script. And so now you have those. And, and and so looking in the future, we can also pick the next character, you know, would be let's say Daisy or or Maddie or Will or Christopher. Then we can pick the next character that comes in line next to do their so Daisy's the first character that comes up. So we can pick Daisy now, uh, switch the voice to female pick out what the voice would be for her and try out that voice. Hey, you explain it. How are you? I am a you explain it technology AI voice with an United States ascent. Do you find my voice useful for your purpose? Feel free to use me. Okay, so now we can do a convert of, of the sections for Daisy. So we click Convert, and now it'll add Daisy in, in the sequence here. So there's all of her, her, her casting of her dialogue. So that's the demo that we have for today. And hopefully we're covering you know, some of the items that you brought up, and I hope we can move forward to the next steps for the audio sound effects would be, I think, is the next step that we want to get to. So thanks a lot, Mike, for hearing this and all your support on this.